Twin Cities Adventures here with our Minnesota Chicken and Bunny playlist. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I transformed this bunny house into a fully insulated bunny house with a private master bedroom filled with straw. And right here's Bunny, our Flemish giant rabbit. And today what we're doing is we're working on enhancing the bunny cage that we bought with Bunny. But this cage here might be good for some, but not our little bunny. She's gonna be spoiled just like our chickens. So what we are doing is we are going to build an insulated bunny hutch around this with an addition. We're gonna do kind of like a dog house off the side, but it's gonna be a bunny house fully enclosed, fully insulated for the cold temperatures in the winter. And it's gonna be awesome, just like our awesome hen house build back there. Um, so the first thing we did here is we laid a platform. So I just used uh, pressure treated lumber and I did a box here. And then we put dirt and we compacted that down and then sand compacted that down and laid these bricks. So it's just a really nice platform off the dirt so the chickens won't scratch any dirt into it. And it'll just be clean and nice and easy. There we go. Here's the basics of it. The bunny hutch is gonna sit back in this corner here with the bunny house, or kind of like a dog house is gonna be here. I'm gonna start making stick frames out of two by twos, green sheeted lumber on the bottom. So it's gonna be flush in the top, stick out a little bit in the back for the back piece to go across. And we'll put our insulation in here. And then quick update, here's the outside of the first panel. Green treated lumber on the bottom and metal tape all around the insulation here. Flip side, this is the inside of the wall, which we will be lining with these boards here. And you can see this is mildew and mold resistant, bug resistant foam. So that will be a nice weather block. Keep them cool in the summer keep them warm in the winter. Okay, so here is the outside panel and the finished off inside panel, just like that. So that's what the bunny will see from the inside of the cage. Notice that I started putting the paneling uh, an inch up from the bottom of the green treated lumber right there, just so it would stay dry. And then this is what that looks like. Okay, so here is the doorway going into the bunny house. And then this is the other side. You can see it's all insulated and taped off airtight. And then I'll just finish that off with this piece here. Put another one right there. Now this is the base for the bunny house. It's just a platform made out of green treated lumber. And then the next step up the floor is going to be this insulated raised bed here. So that'll be up off the ground. Now this is a completely waterproof food grade surface. So I'm gonna just adhere that to the bottom plate of the bunny house. Put some liquid nails underneath it and just tack that down around the perimeter, and then I'll line the perimeter of the walls also, and then we'll caulk that so it's completely watertight and easy to clean out. Premium construction adhesive, and then we'll just fit this right on top. Okay, that's all pressed and tacked. I toenailed that in with small nails here into the center of the board here, and then the lip of silicone will go around that, so you'll never even see those. So now that is going on top of that, and will be pressed right down in here, but first I'm going to line the perimeter of the inside of the bunny house with more food grade surface to be cleaned and wiped down as deemed necessary. You now the food grade surface is all roughed in around the perimeter, halfway up. And I'm gonna put a trim around this so the bunny can't chew it later after 
am near complete. Now I have this bottom board here with insulation on the bottom and the food grade surface on top. Okay, so I'll flip that upside down and then I'll mount this green treated lumber base to that and then we'll slide that right in. Okay, I just toenailed in from the corners to stabilize that so it's one solid piece. Now we just have to do the clean out door here so we can easily open that up and clean that out whenever we need to replace the straw. While I'm working on the project, all the chickens and the bunny are out sunning themselves in their edible garden here under the apple tree. Butterscotch is helping me out with this part here. We just pitched this away from the front. So if we ever do get any wind that blows any rain in from the side or the back, then it'll be pitched away and it'll run off back into the garden. So just like that, some scrap two by twos. Now here's the roof for the bunny house. It's gonna go in just like this with the insulation side up, finished side down. So it's all finished off from the inside. I mounted the cage, I screwed it to the structure here and here, got new food and water there. So I'll just move this and the food real quick and I'll show you what's going on with the door. I got a lock right here and that opens this. So I have a total clean out. Just have to caulk that and put some stripping up around the edges. And then after I'm done, I'll cut a hole into the cage and I'll fill this with straw. And then when that's not to be cleaned, the food will just go right there in the corner. Okay, the next step is we siliconed all of the cracks here with 100% pure silicone. And while that dries, we're going to close that and then work on the top here. I just siliconed around the cracks of the roof here. And then I put some more of this board on top and tape that. While that dries, I'm going to take some camouflage paint and I'm gonna paint the trim work uh, a little bit darker colored so it looks nice. And then when that's done, we're gonna put some insulation on the top here Okay, there's all the edge work, just mostly aesthetics. That way when I get the siding on, it just looks nice and consistent. Okay, quick update here. The cedar siding is on the door and all three other sides. And the roof is on. This is leftover roof panels from when we put the roof on the chicken run and over there on the carport for the riding lawnmower. Give you a quick peek at the siding here all around the edge and the back side looks pretty good and then I brought the roof just overlapping the back panel so we can have that flush against the wall and then it overhangs about inch and a half on both sides and then overhang in the front is about three inches or so and now I'm painting the cedar shingles the same color as our hen house over there and the house and the shed aka farmhouse back there or workshop and carport okay so now inside the bunny hutch i cut a hole into the cage and here's a step up with three countersunk screws i'll just screw that in next now we've got some trim pieces to put around the door and then all around the perimeter of the clean out surface. This is just a long doorstep that I'm using here. I'm cutting that into pieces. Okay, all trimmed out. That way, Bunny can't peel away at the surface in there and in the door also. Now we just have to fill it with straw. Okay, and the roof is obviously gonna pull off as storage for extra hay and straw. So here is the view 
Let me move the food here for the chickens and we'll pop open this side lock and I'll show you what that looks like inside. Bunny has not seen it yet, so I'm excited for her to check that out. She's over there chilling right now and I'm gonna reveal her name in just a second here. Now I'm gonna show uh, the little bunny her new little fort, and then after that, we will reveal her name. Are you ready to learn your name? Right after you're done eating that carrot, right? Okay, so the first step is up into your little hangout, and she has no idea what is in store for her yet. Bunny is in. Let's peek around here. Hi, little bunny. How do you like your new fort? Just checking things out. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I think that she is gonna love that. That'll be great for winter. Just give her a couple more carrots. I kind of like to I'll put them in here. Here you go. A couple more carrots for you. Okay, and now for the name reveal, our Flemish giant's name is Zelda. And welcome to the legend of Zelda. Okay, so Zelda, the Flemish giant, hangs out in her little fort there with the private master bedroom wing off to the right. Now that is her own private hangout with her food and her water and her snacks and her getaway time from when she doesn't want to hang out with the chickens who are over here digging in the dirt right now. So we keep the door propped open all the time. There's a carabiner and it's locked in the open position and it is up high enough where the chickens can't hop up into it, but it's easy for the Flemish giant. And Zelda gets to hang out free range in the chicken run here, which is humongous. And she does hop up on here on the stump, but she hasn't climbed up in our chutes and ladders course yet. Uh, chickens are over here hanging out, taking dirt baths right now in the sun. They love doing that. And they spent the whole day in our free range edible garden out here and the perimeter that's fenced off too. So. They had a really good day outside. Now they're just hanging out inside, chilling out. And Zelda gets to hang out and eat her carrots now. So that was fun. It's a fun build. Thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures, out.